Water and blood are actually intertwined all throughout the scriptures. On the cross, water and blood flowed from Jesus' side. The Nile River turned to blood. Water and blood are at the entrance of the tabernacle. We wash our robes in the blood and they turn white. The second angel poured out his bowl on the sea and it turned to blood. For there are three that testify, the spirit, the water, and the blood. The Israelites' Passover required blood and then they passed through the water. Now I'm about to show you something that you've probably never heard of. If this isn't a picture of Jesus Christ, I don't know what is. These are the instructions the priests were given in order to cleanse the leper. The priest shall order that two live clean birds and some cedar wood, scarlet yarn and hyssop, be brought for the one to be cleansed. Then the priest shall order that one of the birds be killed over fresh water in a clay pot. He is then to take the live bird and dip it, together with the cedar wood, the scarlet yarn, and the hyssop, into the blood of the bird that was killed over the fresh water. Then he is to release the live bird in the open fields. The cedar wood is the cross, the earthen vessel is Jesus' body, and the water is the Holy Spirit, and the blood is the blood of Christ. There were two birds needed for the ceremony, one to die and one to live. One shed its blood, and the other was covered with the blood, but was released to fly free. The one bird represented Christ, who bore our sins, and by whose stripes we have been healed. And the other live bird, coated in the blood of the sacrificed bird, represents the new life we have in Christ. We live under his blood.